Hey guys, Retro Badger here. Hope you're all well. Today we're going to check out the vertical warbird. Now, visually speaking, this thing is messing with my head. This ship is well armed. It's not quite as strong as a Dideridus class warbird. Today we're going to be using the Bridge Commander Remastered unofficial expansion. A big thank you to MSR1701 for sending this over to me. There's a bunch of people working on this and it's hopefully going to be ready for release soon. So today we're going to put the Galaxy Star Drive against the Vertical Warbird. Let's see what happens. Now I think out of all of the episodes in Starship the Next Generation when they encountered the Romulans, if they'd had time, I think they would have separated the ship. But of course, most of the Romulan encounters were a surprise. Okay, so we've got good forward weapon coverage there. And <laughs> it is starting to grow on me now, this design. Almost makes me think it's slightly Vulcan, just the way it's shaped, but yeah, vertical warbird. That is really cool. So we can fire six torpedoes from the aft section and four from the front. And then we have those two giant cannons as well that we just fired. There we go. I'm assuming they're plasma torpedoes, maybe high powered ones. Oh gosh, we've collapsed their forward shielding. Target hull integrity at 75%. Oh, that poor star drive. Crikey. Just when you think we've got it, and then they <laughs> knock our shields down. Look at that. They're fighting back. Not going too well for them. Oh, yep, there they go. Wow. Okay, let's try that the other way around. Okay, here we go. So, as the Galaxy Star Drive lost last time, I've brought the saucer section in to help us. See if it makes any difference. It's separated, of course. I seem to remember in an episode as well, they said they got extra power with the saucer section still attached. So there was some advantages to having the saucer. Obviously it has that giant phaser as well. Their left shield is draining, Captain. I was kind of hoping the saucer section would be a bit of a distraction, but looks like they're still coming for us. Gosh! They've collapsed that aft shield. Wow, Romulan plasma torpedoes. Okay, we're going to have to go up close and personal, I think, on this one. Try and get behind them. Whoa, we're just hitting shields there. That's cool. We've got aft torpedoes ready as well, but I don't want to lose this position because we're in a good position here. Sir, their aft shield is draining. Saucer sections fighting back. That's great. There is no way we can do this single-handedly. Would you look at that? The saucer section is firing its torpedoes. Doesn't it have one torpedo launcher? I'm sure I read somewhere as well that the torpedo launcher comes out of the turbo lift area or something weird like that. Okay, well, there's some serious damage there. Oh, crumbs! 
Falls down to 50%. And we've got no torpedoes. Oh! Would you look at that? Enemy ship has been destroyed. That's it. We got him. And the source is intact. Now, I tried this battle with just the star drive, and it got destroyed very quickly. So that's why I decided to bring the saucer section in, but I didn't realize the saucer section would be so helpful. As always, if I have any news on a potential release date, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Bye for now.